Okay guys, so this, you're looking at the south end of our uh, garden and it's supposed to be 60 feet this direction and from this corner it's going to go 80 feet out and that's south, that's due south right there. So my land just drains directly due south. Hey guys, so today we're going to go through our swales that we roughly created. Um, we're going to pick out all of these roots and um, all of the rocks that are in the soil on the berm side. The ditch side um, is already created, but some of them are actually too short, some are too long. Uh, so we need to go through, we need to fine tune those as well. Let's see how much we can get done today. So first things first, we decided to work on the first row which was cut really short. Um, to keep it on contour, we actually can't make it much longer than it is, um, but I decided that I'm actually not going to keep this part of it on contour. We'll see what happens. Um, I know that that could po pose some problems with drainage, and um, but most of it is in where the water actually drains is down all the way down at that end so i'm hoping that even though this little bit isn't on contour um that it's very close to being on contour and it won't cause any problems with the water flow 
So now we just have to get to digging and we've got like 20 feet to dig, which sucks, but I'm thankful that we don't have all of these to like dig. <laughs> well, each one's going to eventually be 60 feet long. Um, the ditch part is five feet wide just because the excavator that was used had um, a skid plate or whatever it's called. I'm not sure what it's called, um, but it was five feet wide. So it was quicker for him to just go in and to just push the dirt and pick it up and put it to on the side uh, for the berm. So I told him, okay, let's go with five foot since that's quicker. We were running out of time and I wanted him to get as much done as possible, um, which he did. He actually finished all that I had. It's just when I was going through, I had to remark them as he was going because I had the measurements wrong and I still did the measurements wrong and I still uh, just made a lot of mistakes and I was trying to fix them as I was going with three kids that were exhausted and tired I and wasn't. you weren't. Well, Two. Levi says he wasn't, but. Two. He, uh, to at least two that were exhausted. So, um, and then Ryan was tired too. He had worked really hard that day, um, just trying to limb and move things and, and keep the flow going with the guy with the excavator. So let's get to digging the dirt up. And kicking out the rocks and roots. Woohoo! Good job. You have a strong arm. So here's all of our swales that we have roughed in and I'm just working still on this first one. It is taking forever. I am so thankful I didn't have to do this by hand, but Ryan starts night shift today and uh, for the next three months, I'm not really expecting a whole lot of help. So I have less than a month before this needs to be ready for planting. And so I'm gonna be out here with the kids a lot, trying to get this done. I don't know if I'll make it in time, but yes, I'm sure as heck gonna try. Doesn't look like much, but I've got everything from here down already. Let's see it, Thea. Let's see it. 